here we are, we're at Gold's Gym Venice on September 8th. We're one week out from the Mr. Olympia. Uh, I'm not a week out from the Mr. Olympia, although I am gonna go do some photo shoots out of that, that weekend. Uh, that's why I'm in pretty decent shape. Uh, I'm not gonna compete this year. We'll touch base on that in between sets and training. Just kind of get you guys up to speed of what's going on in my life. Competing, future plans, everything like that. Uh, we're gonna hit some arms today, so uh, let's just get after it. So I was originally shooting for the Arnold Hong Kong, which was in August, and at 12 weeks out, they decided to cancel it. And then they emailed us two weeks later and said that they were gonna try to do an Arnold in October in Korea. And that actually even worked out better because I wanted to do the Frigno in Italy. And then at 11 weeks out from that show, I get another email saying they canceled that. So that really only left two more shows left, the Frigno and Italy. And my wife decided she wants to come out of retirement and compete again. And it just so happens the Frigno and Nationals on the same weekend. So I said, screw it, we'll take the year off, sit back, focus on her, let her try to get her pro card, and uh, me let some injuries heal up, and just kind of get caught up in life. We got a lot of shit going on, a lot of stuff to figure out. So yeah, no shows this year. And uh, next year, unsure. I'll tell you guys a little more about that in a minute. I wanted to try to hit a bunch of Arnold's next year. Starting with Ohio, then off to Australia, then South Africa maybe. Brazil, depending on how my body holds up. I want to travel. Um, I want to build an international fan base. Um, you know, I'd like to be able to pick up some clientele and eventually do seminars overseas. Um, you know, stuff like that is exciting to me. Um, and that's kind of the perks of being a bodybuilder, being able to travel the world and spread your knowledge and meet different fans and things like that. So, now the kicker is we're gonna be out of our house in February. A developer bought our house. They're tearing it down and making an apartment. So we have until the end of February. And we're trying to find a place to live. If you guys follow us, we have two puppies, plus our old dog, Bruce. And they're all big dogs. One's a pit, one's a Doberman. So finding places out here to rent to us right now is extremely difficult. So we're looking at potential to buy. But if you guys know anything about Southern California, it's ridiculously expensive. So if we buy, it's gonna have to kind of be in the hood and hope that it's on the come up. Depending on how quick the move goes um, and what we end up doing, um, you know, those shows next year kind of could put on, be put on hold. So just kind of taking everything day by day and, and seeing what's going on with that. So that's kind of the big black cloud hanging over our head at the moment is where the hell are we gonna be living in a couple months? A lot of my time has been allocated now to uh, helping Steph. I've been training her at least three or four days a week, kind of like major body parts, back, legs, um, shoulders. She can hit arms on her own. She has her triceps and huge, her biceps are big. But uh, just kind of giving that extra push to help make her better for her show. Um, and then the other thing with competing this year is, uh, you know, with our puppies, they're chewing up a lot of our time. Um, you know, they're, they're young, they're energetic. So, uh, you know, I gotta take them on like a 35, 40 minute walk every morning. Then we take them to the dog park every night for like 90 minutes, two hours, or I gotta take them on another 40 minute walk. So, I'm doing you know, a lot of times tied up into them that I'm not able to commit to myself. Coming in here, doing accessory work, working on abs, stretching, all those type of things, the little things that make you a good bodybuilder, posing. You know, I'm still getting my workouts in, I'm getting my cardio because I'm walking them. Um, but as far as the little things, I'm not able to focus on that, so another reason why it's kind of better to take this year off. So I'm kind of carrying the workload so she can focus on her prep and do all the little things she needs to. So uh, we got video content that she's put on her YouTube of me training her, and uh, if you guys know us, it's interesting content, because all we do is argue, so that'll be entertaining. 
Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things, I gotta just let it all out. I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about, telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that, telling me, telling me things about rap, talking the truth and then stabbing my back, they will knock me off track, no, no. Too many things have been building, been hard to deal with, I just been drinking. Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking. Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong One shot to the head and I'm gone I'm losing control but I can't let it go Cause I'm trying to get more in I figured I'd try to lean down a little bit Do some photo shoots around the Olympia um, You know, there's a lot of photographers One little bubble out there So, I've been dieting And uh, I'm not gonna lie This has been uh, the worst I've ever been on diet um, You know, I've been, I've been hitting my macros pretty close But I've been changing my food sources up a ton just kind of enjoying shit a little bit. I'm still getting in great shape, and I know that I'm not stepping on stage, but I'm, I'm not a robot like I normally am. And I'm actually living life more. I mean, as you can attest, you know, I'm hanging out with you guys, going over the pool, stuff that, you know, for six years I never did. You know, I lived a, a very robotic life and made no friends out here because I was focused on competing or whatever. So um, in, in a way it's good that I've kind of opened up a little bit and enjoyed life a little more. I flew home twice this summer to see friends and I just said screw it I'm gonna have a couple drinks I'm gonna you know eat whatever I want when I'm there so I've enjoyed life a lot more this year um, from that perspective but all in all I'm still sitting around 250 I'm, I'll be as lean as I was last year at the Olympia for photo shoots so you know the, at the end of the day my goals have been met for the most part um, so you know but it's just when you're a a, a very robotic person kind of let yourself slide like that it can play tricks in your mind a lot it will knock me off track, no, no Too many things have been building Been hard to deal with, I've just been drinking Remember my moves in the past I'm wondering what was I thinking Lately I'm living in fear Wondering what if the end is so near All of this shit going on The shootings are strong One shot to the head and I'm gone I'm losing control but I can't let it go Cause I'm trying to get more And I've been in the moment I've been in the zone and I'm moving alone I don't pick up the phone when my family call I've been doing it wrong and I don't know what's happening Trying to get what I've just been imagining Getting close and I've just been examining all of the I'm not one of these guys with crazy beautiful shape X frame. So, in order for me to be competitive, I have to pack on a lot of muscle. And I really don't want to get too huge. You know, the bigger I get, the more ogreish I look, the older I look. And what makes me my money is kind of being, looking a little younger, kind of being that pretty boy look. Um, at the end of last year, I actually kind of considered maybe taking some time away from bodybuilding, trimming down a little bit, focusing more on mainstream type stuff, um, you know, in the acting world. In order for me to really book anything big, anything prominent, I need to drop about 20 pounds. And, uh, you know, I'm very grateful to be with uh, Anabolic Design. Joe Binley and I have created a good friendship over the past 18 months. And Joe's 100% supportive of everything that I want to do. When I talked about, you know, hanging up posing trunks and getting back into more athletic training, you know, most sponsors would say, well, you don't compete. I hired you as a bodybuilder, you're gone. Joe said, I know no matter what, you're going to be a marketing powerhouse and you're going to help build my brand whether it's you at 220 pounds being kind of a hybrid athlete focusing more on mainstream stuff or you know a 250 260 pound bodybuilder um so he's behind me 100 percent you know it's nice to have a company out there that cares about the athlete cares about their health cares about their life and uh so thank you ad and, and thank you joe for that Go get it for real. I see them dollar signs and go and get them for real. And I don't mean to brag on me, but ain't nobody fly as me, so I am he. Pranks that the kid did. Vans tied up with the NY fit did. Nigga stay mid just admit it. A nigga money long, so it's wrist cross fit it. Oops, I shit it. Nah, never mind, I'm the shit. Fall till I fall, never quit, and it's all on the bitch. But a scotch SB kicks, and the jewels look like fun dip, and the whip turn kiss. Young feel beat to the wrist, getting money. Cause I move that shit, yeah, I'm trying to get rich I even push them kicks If it mean a nigga dying on bricks Get money Get money, get, money. get dough get dope. Got them hooked on the boy like blow I actually like how I look depleted More than I do full Especially around my waist um, When I'm a little flat looking My waist comes down, I can hit a vacuum really well And uh, last year's Olympia I went for a little fuller look And some of the photos I had were cool But some of my waist looked really blocky in so I kind of want to go a little different look this year and I want to come in a little flat and be a little more aesthetic looking. 
and uh, I want to do some more like lifestyle type shoot stuff, like with regular clothes on and some sexy type stuff, some some uh, lingerie photos with David here, and uh, so I think uh, I'll start depleting again, start picking up cardio, and uh, maybe lose maybe two or three more pounds going into the next week and just be a little trimmer. So that's the plan. He can't see he can man wanna be me. Show two fingers, I call you today, ma. Get money, get money, get gold. Got him hooked on the boy like glow. Get money, get money, get gold. Got him hooked on the boy like glow. Get money, get money, get gold. Got him hooked on the boy like glow. Get money, get money, get gold. Get money, get money, get gold. Yeah, baby, like Maggie. Raised on my mama, ain't stand like my daddy. Yes, I'm killing it. Team not collab. Gotta be diligent. That wraps up arm day. Kind of give you a breakdown of what's been going on in my life. I honestly haven't done videos in a long time because, um, you know, just been in a in a funk. You know, when I found out that there was no shows, I wasn't competing. Uh, I didn't have that focus, and a lot of other shit that's been going on in our lives. Um, you know, personal training business kind of slowed down a lot this summer, more than usual. I haven't really had the desire to be behind the camera. So, you know, we're all human, we have our struggles. We have our, our mental struggles with body dysmorphia and relationship issues and life in general just gets caught up with everybody. And uh, I kind of let it get the best of me this year for sure. Um, it's been one of the rougher years that I've had in a long time. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, still got my health, got my wife, got some good friends. Um, you know, everything's moving in a positive direction. So, uh, you know, a lot to be thankful for. And, you know, it's kind of hard getting caught up and always having a lot of shit happen in your life. And when things slow down, you get kind of bogged down. Um, you know, so things are looking up and up. And uh, I'm excited to kind of give you guys more content and keep you filled in with what's going on in life. And like I said, we got a, a whole series coming out with me training my wife and her. She's doing a bunch of content. And, um, you know, so stay tuned and uh, get some more stuff coming to you guys' way.